Hi guys, my name is Dr. Rula Rava. I'm an oral maxillofacial surgery resident. I am doing a week of night shift right now and people ask me all the time, how do you stay awake on night shift and what do you do? And so I am going to show you some of my tips and tricks tonight on how I stay awake. Unfortunately, one of the ways that I can stay awake is by eating and snacking and getting a bite to eat. I do try to keep it healthy, but because there's not a lot of things that are open at night um, I have to basically depend on what's available in the hospital I've already had dinner but I'm always loaded with snacks you guys because it gets me through the night I'm telling you you always have to have snacks on you especially on night shift I feel like I eat a lot less during the day but at night you're alone you're not really socializing um, and a lot of times to stay awake, I'll eat something. So I try to keep it healthy. So I have an apple here with me. This is an apple from apple picking. So it's actually really delicious. It's a, um, apple crisp and it's so good. And then I have another fruit cup that I got from the resident fridge, um, downstairs. I have to have at least a tiny, um, a chocolate bar. I try to keep it snack size because otherwise I will eat the whole thing. I try to have self-control. Um, the nurses hook me up with either peanut butter or Ritz crackers and so this is a must-have snack and then I'll always have some sort of granola bar when um, I'm pretty hungry and so keep in mind I already had um, breakfast at home, lunch at home. I brought dinner with me to the hospital. So these are just snacks, but they are very necessary when you need a little bit of energy to get you through the night. Truthfully, night shift can be really challenging, but I have found that because nighttime is a little bit more quiet and lonely, um, a lot of the staff in the hospital will kind of get to know each other. I've gotten to know a lot of um, the nurses on our floors when I'm on night shift because we'll just sit and chat and we'll have a little bit more time to do that. The days are just much, much, much crazier and really hectic and a lot of times I'll work with the same nurses but we won't really get any time to chat. But overnight I find that I make friends with the phlebotomists, the nurses, all of the incredible staff that basically run the hospital but I don't have a chance to be able to sit and kind to talk to them and get to know them and so that's always a fun part of the night shift especially because I'm the only intern around so a lot of times we'll sit in our own little bubble but at night you get to venture out and kind of talk to other people and see what they're up to which is a lot of fun I'm a social person I like to socialize if you haven't figured that out already very important way that I stay energized is actually in the stairwell one of the advantages of being on night shift is that the hospital is relatively quiet and people are actually a little bit lazier so I find that people people are never in the stairwell, but I use the stairwell in order to give me a little bit of energy and we'll go up and down the stairs, up and down the stairs, up and down the stairs whenever I find myself to be really sleepy. It'll get me a few extra steps because at nighttime, I do not get the same amount of steps as I do when I'm working day shift because I'm always like running around from patient's room to patient's room, but a lot of patients are sleeping. So I really only round on them maybe once or twice in the night because I'm not gonna wake them up in the middle of the night just to see how they're doing. Um, and and so if I start to feel sleepy and I know I have to be awake and I can't take any naps, I'll just go into the stairwell and go up and down a couple of times. I know it sounds crazy, but honestly, this is one of my secrets to getting some energy when I'm feeling really sleepy. And the one thing that I will say though is be very careful because a lot of us are wearing hospital shoes and they're not necessarily athletic. And so I have almost tripped a couple of times and I have this like scenario in my head of me falling down the stairwell, breaking my central incisors, and like, I don't even want to talk about it because it gives me so much anxiety. So be careful when you're doing this, but it is a good trick. One of the other things that I will try to do, and this is not always possible, it just depends on how the night goes and how you plan your night, but I will always try to get a little bit of a cat nap. Um, even when it's really, really busy, I'll still try to find a little bit of downtime just to shut my eye and reset. And even if I don't have any downtime to shut my eyes, I will try to make it to the on-call room at some point in order to just kind of 
take off my sweater, take off my mask, sit down in privacy and kind of meditate for a couple of moments, do some breathing exercises and reset. That really helps me get through the night. It gives me a little bit of energy. It sounds very yogi, but I swear by this practice and um, I highly recommend it. So right now it's a little bit quiet and I haven't heard anything. Knock on wood. Everybody knows you're not supposed to say the Q word when you are on night shift or on call. I just did so hopefully I didn't jinx myself but I am gonna try to take a little bit of a cat nap my pager is with me my phone is on so if I am needed I am right next to all of the patients and can be there within just a few minutes the trick to taking a cat nap is to bring your own blanket from home I have found that I am really unable to fall asleep even for a few minutes when I'm uncomfortable and so I try my very best to remember to bring um, my own fuzzy blanket from home or something that is comfortable so I brought this nice little fuzzy blanket um, from home and I use that in the on-call room just to get a little bit more comfortable and it does tend to be really really cold in our on-call room so this just keeps me nice and warm and I'm able to get a little bit of a cat nap just like when you're in the car and you're super tired and trying to get somewhere you turn up the music really loud and maybe grab some caffeine I do a little bit of the same thing when I'm in the hospital and I'm starting to fall asleep but I really have a lot of work to do I will put on some tunes on the computer and get to work um, I try not to have as much caffeine at night because I don't want to mess up my um, caffeine intake limit I usually try to limit to one mug a day and I already had that earlier today but every now and then I'm just desperate and I have to have another cup so it really depends on the night today I'll try not to but I will put on some music so let me show you what my picks usually are at night so I'm in the resident room all alone and no one can judge me so I get to play what I want and I love me some 2000s party music you guys I mean, come on. This is so great. You can't fall asleep if you're watching this. No way. Sometimes I am really energized and I don't feel like going to sleep, but it's quiet so i'll go to the on-call room and after i finished all my tasks and all my work and it's in the middle of the night and there's not much else to do i will binge and watch a little bit of netflix in bed just to kind of reset and take my mind off things all right so that is it i got through the night um you know night shift can be really hard but I think with a few tricks and um, with a few things that you can do, it becomes more of a routine and it's actually quite enjoyable. I enjoy nights. I feel like I have more time during the day when I'm on nights. The hospital is quieter. Um, you get more time for reading, um, socializing sometimes, and so I really don't mind it. But. That's basically how I manage night shift and how I get tired. And now the most important part, I get to drive home and actually fall asleep. And that's another way of managing night shift is getting some sleep when you get home and making sure that you're well rested for your next night of night shift. Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Comment below. Let me know what other things you want me to record while I'm on night shift. And don't forget to like this video. Follow me on Instagram at 15blades for daily posts like this and more. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.